How's it going, everyone? Maryland here. Oh yeah, that's right. It is time for another day of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Oh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check out what's new in Benchton. Well, one thing that I do know is, unfortunately, Paula has left. Yeah, she's gone now. I had to update the sidebar and everything. But yeah, that's unfortunate. But you know what? just means that there's room for someone else to move in. So I guess that's good to think of. Um, but yeah, so let's see what's going on today. What do you say? Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I did too much afterwards. I don't seem to think I did. But I did get a lot of mail, my goodness. All right. Um, well, let me get rid of some of this HHA stuff. I'm going to keep Klaus' letters. They're kind of funny. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think actually this will do. I'll sort my letters a little bit later. Actually, I don't think this one from Pinky was overly exciting. There we go. Okay, so Paula's goodbye. Pinky. And a letter from Kitty. Interesting. I wonder why everyone's sending letters all of a sudden. It's crazy. Okay, let's take a look at what they have to say. Um, let's check Paula's. Oh, Gazunite, my goodness. Oh, man, just could not hold that one. <laughs> um, all right, by the time you read this, I'll be long gone. I gotta get a move on so I can scope out my new turf, you know? I'm gonna give it everything I've got in my new town. From Gutsy Paula. All right, and then Pinky, super organizer Devin. What's out your place? I could tell you spend lots of time arranging stuff. So want to help keep your world ordered. Your world ordered? And give you this to hold your collections. Interesting. All right, whoops. I might as well see what it is. All right, let's see. Do, do, do. Green wardrobe. Okay, it's not really my colors, but whatever. All right, Gulliver. Um, how are you? I'm having an amazing time. Oh, yeah, that's right. He went to Canada, eh? Let's see what he sent from Canada. Sent a dream catcher. Oh, that's pretty cool. And Kitty. My dear Devin, I hope you've been well. See, there's something I've been meaning to tell you because you helped me so very or so much. It's very important, but now I've run out of space. Oh no, another time, kitty. All right, um, cool, very cool. Also, look at all these roses. I'm really liking it. I need to sort these out a little bit, but yeah, I got my lovely, oops, my lovely black rose back here. Very cool, very cool indeed. Hey Hopper, how's it going? What's up, buddy? Um, yes, I am full of pep this early. Rumors are kind of scary, aren't they? As you get retold from person to person, more things get added and the story gets bigger and bigger. That's true. Okay, let's see. Hey, Pinky, how are you doing? All right, let's talk. I like to head over... Why is she obsessed with going over to my house, like... Every day, that's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, um, no problem though, no problem. I don't mind visitors. I didn't put up the wardrobe right away though. Uh, okay, well, no problem. Let's just go ahead and bring her over here. I really want to do something to the exterior of the house. Like, I want to get that updated. Because um, it just, it doesn't quite look like it needs to. Oh, I still have my trash can up, whoops. Okay. I haven't really changed all that much, Pinky, but okay, and, you know, it's fine. Glad you, uh, glad you wanted to see it. I can't put my dream catcher up right now, though. Hmm. It is very strange with Pinky's over so often, though. Yeah, I like this room, but I think I'm missing something. I don't remember what, but oh well, it's fine. Yeah, see, I have my... <laughs> right, okay. Right. So, I need to track down more of that stuff. I also want to figure out what to do with this room here. Like, it's just so cluttered. I don't really need to have just a whole bunch of stuff there. So, yeah. Um, I like this room. It's pretty neat. Alright, let me just show you all of the places. Then you can get out of here without complaining. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to sell my turnips. I have all my money tied up in turnips. Actually, I did make some, um, I did make some, uh, what was it, some money. <laughs> right. Wow, what did I make? I made money. Um, yesterday, over on my waffles. 
game, which was cool. Just did some bug catching and fishing and stuff, uh, which was neat. So I got like half a mil there, but that's about it. Although I do have a ton of perfect peaches and perfect pears actually over there. I've been trying to build up my perfect pear stash over in waffles. Because that way, you know, when I go over and sell my, um, sell my pear, or my peaches in waffles to get extra money, I can bring back a bunch of pears and sell it here to get a lot of money too. Which is awesome. Very awesome. I think you get like 3,000 bells normally, but since I have the bell boom thing going on, um, oh, I, yeah, I showed you the back room. I'm just going to stand here. Um, but yeah, since the bell boom ordinance is going on over there, I actually get 3600 each, which is nice. Really helps out. So that's a great way to get money without having to do too much. But it does require <laughs> the two games. However, if you got a friend you can do that with, you know, go for it. Pick all the fruits, bring them back to your own house. Oh, hey Pico, how are you doing? Oh, Mr. Mayor, I have a request. Would you consider commissioning a flower arch here? I think it'd be good for benching, don't you, Panda Pal? You know what? That is awesome. I actually just built one of those in waffles. <laughs> Speaking of waffles, it looks really cool. It's great. Um, Patty asked me a while ago to pick up something, but I forgot to deliver it. Oh, sure, that's fine. In fact, that's actually great. I was looking for a new public works project to work on. There wasn't really anything too new. So that, I think, would be a great thing to build. It's just trying to figure out where do I want to set it up. Yeah, that is an interesting question. It actually looked really nice kind of with this, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, what do we got over here? Ooh, a Rococo bed. Oh, I kind of want to get that. The Rococo stuff looks so nice. I should really see if I can get a whole set of the Rococo things. So then maybe I can make my first room, like the main room there. Maybe I can make that all Rococo themed. Ooh, campsite. Let's see who we got in here. Oh, I can finally bring someone aboard. That's right. Now I have room. Oh, it's a penguin. Aw. Hey, are you from around here? Oh, great. I've been looking for a local to chat with. Okay. I guess that's Friga? Huh, interesting. Um, okay, I'll play a game. Sure, why not? Uh, I don't really know if I want to recruit her, though. That's the thing. I mean, I could, but... Kitty carpet for... No, let's not do that. A polka dot TV. Wait! I don't have a polka dot TV! I'll take it! Oh, that's awesome! I think that's the thing I'm missing. I'm Rococo for Coco Puffs. Wow. All right. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting that. Wow, just my luck. Huh, okay. Let's see. Uh, play a game for your soccer team. Oh, sure. Oh, Chase the Ace. That sounds like an interesting game. Um, okay, let's try it out. Um, no, I, I know how to play. Right? Okay. Uh, I want the right one. Ace of Hearts. Okay, I want the left one now. I actually don't remember this game, but oh well. Okay, there you go. Cool. Um, I mean, she seems nice and all, but I don't really think I... No, actually, no, no, what I was going to say. Um, I mean, she'd be okay, but I, I really don't need any more girls. I mean, I'd have just an abundance. And, like, she looks okay, but her attitude just didn't really... I don't know. It, I, I don't really want her. I'm going to hold out for someone better. All right, yeah. I'm going to do that. You know what? It's like, it's just way too weird. Like, that was the problem. I had so many girls just a moment ago before Paula left. Maybe now I can finally get someone like, like, like Kid Cat. Oh, man, if he would come back. Ooh, it looks like my peaches are ready again. If Kid Cat could be back, oh, she would be a cool girlfriend for Hopper. I forgot. That would actually be funny. He needs someone. But she seems a little less than nice, so... Aw, oh, here's where Paula was. Oh, well, I guess the good news is it'll give me better room for a path. 
So yeah, um, I should probably fix that path and then update my dream suite. That helped. Oh boy. Alright, here we go. No spoilers, guys. I don't like knowing if something is real or fake because I don't look it up. I just kind of go for it. And I get ripped off every time, too. Um, but it's okay. Actually, I think there was one time I didn't get ripped off. But I know that there are places online that you can go to kind of to kind of figure it out. But I don't know. This is I know this one's a fake. I've gotten this before. It's so weird. And then there's this one, which I don't know. It doesn't quite look right. He's holding a UFO. <laughs> like, that doesn't seem really right. I think that's probably a fake. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. So, what is this one? Let's see, what does it say? It's the perfect painting. Well, it doesn't look that perfect. But maybe I could go with that. Alright, let's see. And what is this? A quaint painting. I know, it looks alright. Well, here's the thing. You know what? I guess I could always go buy the other one with, um, with Quiet. So I'll go ahead and buy this quaint painting. I don't really know which one is legit. I'm pretty sure neither of those two are. But this one, I really don't know. But anyway, no spoilers. I'll find out tomorrow. And it'll be, it'll be great. So I'm going to get out of here. And see what else is going on in Benchton. Oh man, yeah, I gotta update my path over there. And I need to... Um, I don't know, I need to do some other things. Update my dream suite. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm still looking for that gem rock. It was so funny. So, I ended up finding that yesterday over in Waffles. It's like, oh man, like it was literally the first rock that I hit and I didn't even have enough room. I think I got like three gems because I have paths everywhere there. So yeah, um, but it was still cool because it just reminded me, oh yeah, that's right, I can get gems as long as I have a silver shovel. Oh my goodness, look at all my golden perfect peaches. They're lovely. They're lovely. I'm gonna make a fortune off of these. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll at least make a good amount of money. I'll do that later, though, because it's kind of boring just watching me transport peaches. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's see. Do, do, do. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. Look at all my black tulips back there. That's crazy. And a mitten. Hmm, I didn't plant this. Oh, darn it. I didn't need to kick that down. All right, a lost item. So, I should probably go find the owner and see who on earth dropped this. Alright, let's see. Do, do, do. Let's go ahead and put this there. Yeah, I guess that works. Okay, well, I should probably organize these a little bit better for optimal growth. Because if you have too many kind of in a cluster, like this black one here, it will not um, spread anywhere else because it's in the center. So when I water it, it's like, oh, it's not going to do much good, but that's fine. Um, I mean, there are really plenty of these. Too bad I can't turn these golden. Now, speaking of golden, that is something I need to start thinking about. I know that I have the Keep Benchton Beautiful Ordinance in effect, but the problem is, um, if I want to get golden roses, I actually need to wait for my black rose to wilt. Spoilers, but that's how you get the golden roses. You need to wait for it to wilt and then water it with the golden watering can. So it's a bit of a hassle to get, but I can only get it when flowers wilt and they aren't going to wilt while the perfect ordinance or the keep benched and beautiful ordinance is in effect. So I have to give that some thought, um, but it's okay. It's okay, I think I'd probably be best trying to get more black roses first because it like actually converts them to golden roses. Okay, here we go, we'll water some of these cosmos. Guess that works? Oh, and I should see if Pinky is the owner of this. Do do do. Or Hopper, since Pinky just vanished. All right, you lose this?
Nope. All right. Didn't figure you did. <laughs> okay, let's see. Gabby, this has got to be yours, I tell you. All right, what do you like? Is this yours? What are you doing, Hopper? Come on, don't be rude now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. It's a robo clock. Wow, that's cool. I'll take it. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let's see. So I should probably just tidy up this path a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, but let's at least do something. Um, let's see. I could probably make it a little bit wider, too. Yeah, I don't need to have this go into the border now. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And let's move this. We're going to kind of bring it diagonally. Because there's really no point in it going right up to the side here, other than giving me more space for tulips. But I think this will even work well with the tulips. So, no worries. Okay, so we're just going to kick all this aside. And, yeah. Now, if you want to get these paths, I don't have QR codes for them available. However, the Dream Suite address is in the sidebar of this video. And you should be able to get it just by using that, which is kind of nice. Uh, you just got to track down a walrus guy, so... Pretty easy to do. Okay, uh, let me just plant this here. Oh, right, I needed to deliver something to Patty. That's right. I'll do that in a moment. Okay, let's see. So, to place the paths, just have to go in there and display on the ground. Very cool. Okay, um, do, do, do. How far is this going to take me? I guess it'll take me to here. Yeah, that works. I just need to move this tulip. No problem. All right, let's drop this down here. Okay, and let's drop this right there. You know what would be cool, actually? If I put, like, bushes or something right here, I bet you they would grow. And I bet you they look really cool. I should do that. Like, I'm going to go grab some bushes at um, the flower shop when I visit that, and I'll start putting them there. Okay, cool. So, let's just do this with the other edge here. This will give us a little bit of room for flowers or something neat over to the side. And I think that'll actually do. Part of me is wondering if I should just have it like one wide. I guess it only connects to, what is this, Gabby's house. So it's not a huge deal. Um, so we'll just make it one wide. All right, let's kick this to the side, or just get rid of it altogether, I guess. Drop that. Although it does look kind of strange having it too wide and too wide, and then not be too wide, but I guess it's fine. Let's just see how it looks. Yes, Gabby, you are watching me build the path to your house. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> well, it'll at least make the... Um, it will at least make the dream suite update much sweeter. Wow, you are just following me. That's so weird. Okay, here we go. See, even though it does kind of just bump right into the house, part of me is thinking too wide would be the best way. Oh, they're talking. I love it when they talk. Okay. Have I told you I'm in the running for most congenial rabbit? <laughs> I think I'm a total shoe-in. Except, I don't really know how to get all conge congenial. Do you have any advice for me? Most congenial, huh? I don't really know a lot about the whole pageant scene. Are you sure you can't help me just a little bit? I want to get advice from all sorts of folks. <laughs> well, if you want to be congenial, you'll have to be all friendly and stuff. And you have to be sociable. Well, she's got that in spades. Sociable, huh? I'm like the hostess with the mostest, so all I have to do to win is partay. <laughs> uh, that's not exactly what I meant by sociable. Of course it is. I'm going to RSVP to every single party invite I get and work my magic. Totally sociable. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Good luck with the whole pageant thing. You're going to need it. Thanks. You've been very helpful, so I'm going to get you front row tickets for the pageant. <laughs> I love stuff like that. It's just, it's so random, but it's really fun. Um, 
I don't know, I find it entertaining at least. It's like one of my favorite things in Animal Crossing. It's just hearing what the villagers have to say to each other. Okay, so I'm just going to make this a little bit wider. It doesn't really matter, but it's fine. Um, let's go ahead and just drop this. It'll just make it look nicer. Although part of me just wishes I could just move Gabby's house altogether, but oh well. I guess it's fine. I might also be able to merge this together now. I had to work around um, Paula's house, and that was a little tricky, but now I might just make a better path to the campsite and to Gabby's house. Like, see, I could just bring something down the middle over here. Hmm, that is something I should probably think about before I start planting bushes. Oh, well, I mean, I guess this works. I don't want to invest too much time in it. It's just one house in the campsite. Cool. Okay, so now that that's done, Oh, you know what? Before I update my dream suite, what I want to do is there's this one patch right here, and it is by a dead tree. This used to be a golden tree, and it finally died, and I don't have an axe on me. But I want to chop this thing down. I did want to leave a lot of those up, but actually, you know what? I don't need to do that right now. That's right, because the only reason I had to take this tile out is because whenever I'd shake the tree, well, there would be, um, you know, a lost peach because it'd fall in here and it'd have nowhere to go, so it'd just, yeah, just get destroyed. But now it's not a problem, so I'll just leave it up. But I do want to chop that down. And that was something that's been bothering me, because I like to have my paths look perfect, you know? I want them to be everywhere. Oh, there's Patty. She has something she wants to say to me, too. Didn't I hear you say you wanted a pine table? Oh, why, well, thank you. You're too kind. Think of it as proof of our friendship. You're always so nice to me, and I want to thank you. Aw. <laughs> if you don't still need it, go ahead and throw it away or something, Chillax. Oh, I don't need to do that. I'll at least sell it. <laughs> okay, here you go. I got a delivery for you. All right. Uh, what is it? Oh, it's a shirt. Nice. A bear shirt. <laughs> you want to be... Oh, look. Oh, that's a different bear shirt. Okay. I think that looks great. You know what? Keep it on. That should definitely be the Benchton Bears shirt. Oh, what? What was this? Oh, the citrus tea. Oh, wow. She's giving me so much stuff. Yay! Koopa Prez just subscribed. Awesome! High five! Woo! Join the Cool Kids Club. If you don't see the tail, just refresh the chat, and that might show up for you. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Um... But yeah, awesome, awesome. I love those little Meryl tails. They're so cool. That is some big service, Koopa Prez. Nice. Okay, so let's see what on earth to do. Let me bring over this Jacob's Ladder. I don't know if this is a new one or what. I thought I already brought one over. But now I have, I think, five of them growing over here. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let me see about this. There we go. Do, do, do. Did I get the demo for Alpha and Omega? I did, and I even did a video on it over on my Maryland channel. That's interesting. I haven't played too much of it, though. Okay, um... Like, I've been meaning to do more, but apparently there's, like, these secret missions or something, and it's like... That's gonna take forever recording that, because apparently they're really rare. So, yeah. Um, alright, let me go check out Town Hall really quick here. Because I want to see how my town's doing. And I want to see about that public works project. Okay, citizen satisfaction. Um, they have to say, it's great, it's the very best town ever, I wouldn't mind being mayor again for a town that looks like this. Best town ever, oh yeah, so good. Okay, so... I'm not going to build it just yet. I want to try to remember to do this towards the end of the episode, because I think it'd actually be better. Oh, whoops. Yeah, let's celebrate that fountain. I think it would actually be um, a lot better if I waited until after I've updated the Dream Suite. So that way people won't see that gyroid thing just kind of chilling around my house. Or not my house, but my town. Okay, look at this lovely fountain with a beautiful view of the pyramid in the background. Okay, an incredibly short speech. On to the next project. All right, there we go. Ready, set, pop! Boom! 
<laughs> Even the flower popped. <laughs> okay, let's see. So that concludes the ceremony. Awesome. Yeah, cool. But I want to check out that flower arch that was suggested. Hey, what's up, everyone? I think I've already talked to all of them. I'm not going to set it up just yet. I want to do the dream suite thing first. But, yeah. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Wait, I don't want to talk to you. No offense. I mean, I just don't want to talk to you there. I want to talk to you in my big boy chair. Yeah. All right, what we got going on um, for that thing? And also, I really should consider the um, Bell Boom Ordinance. Since I have been playing every day, I don't think it'd even be too much of a problem. Like, I keep pretty good track of everything. Um, where is it? Do, 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 street. Flower Arch. See, look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? Oh my goodness, I love that thing. It's also just three by one, so it's pretty easy to place. But I'm not going to place it right yet. I need to find a good place to place it. Um, yeah, so that'll be fun. I think that'll look really nice. Except I just, you know, it's all flowery and everything, so I feel like I should have something um, that kind of matches it. Maybe I should put some roses or something by it. But trying to find a nice sort of three by one corridor, that'd be a good idea. Um, let's see, and it can't be too close to too much other stuff either. Oh, I gotta do something about this house that's right, it's really in the way. Oh, I know where. Or maybe I don't, let me think. Too bad I can't place it like right here. I mean, maybe I could, but somehow I doubt it. Be nice to walk into town and have that greet ya. Alright. Oh, go on. Go on. Talk to Gabby. Talk to Gabby. Ah, oh, you didn't do it. Okay, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> it's okay. I'll get over it. Okay, speaking of turnips, let me just check the turnip prices really quick. And pretend to act all surprised. <laughs> I do check them on quiet. Like, I sign in as her. Um before I start, usually like in the morning when I wake up, just in case they're really high, I'll have ample time. So here's the dilemma. There are 163 bells. That's respectable. But at the same time, I'm having a feeling that I can do better than this. I've been keeping track of the prices, and I'm just having a feeling like I can do a little bit better. So I've been doubling my profits over the past, uh, I think the last two times, worked out great. 163 is nice, uh, but I, uh, I just, I don't know. I think that if I hold on to them, I'm hoping I can do just, just a tad better. Oh, I have a polka dot TV over here. Let me just, out of curiosity, see if I can actually have him adjust it. I didn't even think about that. What kind of variations can you do? The body color. Okay, what can you do with this? Um, I'm not going to modify it right now, but let's just see. Soda blue. Oh, wow, look at that. There's all sorts of colors here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wow. That is awesome. I'll have to find a good color. But you know what, for right now, I'm just going to say never mind. I just want to put that polka dot TV in my house just to kind of complete things. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. Might as well do that before I um, update my dream suite. Okay, let's, let's see. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Oh, that is awesome. Man, I need to do some refurbishing. That'd be great, because then I can change the colors of my polka dot. And, you know, nothing against the red, but maybe having a more inventive color or a more creative color would be good, because this red does kind of bother me. Although I do like it with the Dharmas. Um, so we got to put the TV somewhere. Realistically, I should be putting it by the couch. But for right now, um, until I feel like moving things around, Unless maybe this can go on the table. That'd be a little weird, but hey, you never know. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's fine. That's fine. 
So I'm just going to set it over here for now. It doesn't make the most sense in the world. Like I should probably have the couch somewhere else, but this is a relatively cramped room and I just want to have it there. Just in some capacity. That's something I guess right, it reminds me of Toad. Yeah, so true, so true. I don't like that. It looks like a mushroom or it looks like Toad or something like that. So, yeah. But if there's other colors, that'd be neat. I'm not opposed to polka dots. And there's a huge variety, so I'll have to do some stuff with that. Anyway, I'm going to check out Main Street. 